Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another 10 cards one kit featuring the Spellbinders August card kit of the month and this one is called Hang With Me. It's really cute and there's some really adorable characters in here so I'm excited to start digging in. So first I'm just going to go and show you all of the things that you get in the kit. Now this includes also all of the add-ons like the paper pack and the stamp set. They are all offered at a very reasonable price so I will link all of the extras as well as the card kit link in the description. So as you saw when I first opened the box you get an inspiration card, you get 10 card bases and envelopes and then this is the add-on paper pack and they are six by six papers and you get two of each design. I love the paper packs that are available to add on to the kits. I really think they're almost essential to it because they coordinate so well, but also add so much variety. You can cut things out of them or use them as the entire card front. And I love doing that with my cards. That was a die set and it makes a sloth and a couple other uh, tree like branches and leaves. And I'll show you that in just a minute. I'll go into how to create those. And this is the die cut pack that comes in the kit. I go back to this die cut pack or the die cut packs that are included in the kits every time I make my cards. They are so well made and they're really bright and vibrant and beautiful. And you even get things like sentiment strips. So it's just really great to have these so that one, it cuts down some time uh, for you to make your cards, but also it just adds a lot of elements that you can add to your cards and it's it's great i love them for that so these are journaling cards and normally in the kits you'll get these smaller sizes they're great for adding on to card fronts or you can cut elements out of them but this time we also get these really gigantic journaling cards and they can be trimmed down to an a2 size or just underneath or i'm sorry just under an a2 size so i do that in one of my cards and i'm excited to show you that of course, you get some tape, some scoring tape, and some foam uh, squares. There is some coordinating sequins. This is the add-on stamp pack or stamp um, set that is, I believe it's $5. It's really cute, and it's really affordable, so you can not feel too bad about throwing it in there. And then, of course, the fun stickers that you usually get in each kit, and then all of this wonderful uh, colored cardstock that um, you get as well and then also you get that metallic piece of cardstock or that mirror piece. So let's go ahead and create our sloth. Now this, these were all cut using the dies that are included in the kit. This is not an add-on, the dies come in the kit. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly sort of put this all together. Spellbinders does a really great job at creating dies that are simple to put together. So they look intricate when you're all cutting them out or when you get all the pieces together, but then you realize that it's actually really simple to put together. So what I'm going to do is make the face. So I just put that face on the head there. And then I took the body and there are two sets of arms or legs. So there are thinner ones and then uh, sort of like fatter ones. So I use the thinner ones as the arms and I'm just going to place one on the back side because I'm going to have it hanging onto a tree branch. I've already had that sort of in my head and I wanted them on two separate sides so that I can make it look like he's hugging onto the tree branch. So after I get the body assembled there with the legs in the back, which I did the same thing, put one in the front and one on the back, I'm just going to put a piece of foam adhesive or foam tape on the back of the head so that I can pop that up a little bit from the body. And then I put all of the pieces, the face pieces on. Now this will cut out all of the pieces at once. So what I like to do is cut that die with all of those elements out of a white piece of cardstock. And then I just use either some Copics or some Tombows, either one, and just color in the colors that I want. And that just gives it a little, makes it a little easier on me rather than having to cut it out from several different colors of cardstock. So these leaves and the branches you also get in the die set, they are really intricate and detailed, um, but also just come out sort of in one fell swoop. So I cut it out of some different color green uh, just to add a little bit of interest. And then I ink blended onto a four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock. And I just used some purples and green, this yellowy green, just to bring out or make it look like 
sort of like a forest sunset maybe. Um, I just thought it looked really nice and relaxed, which is what a sloth reminds me of. I'm using the stamp that says, hang out with people who make you smile. And I'm just stamping that in the bottom right hand corner. And that came with the stamp set. I really like the way that this turned out. It's super cute. And I think that anybody would get a really nice, a, a really good smile just to get this in the mail. I really like that one. So continuing on now, I'm going to use a piece of pattern paper from the pattern paper pack. And then this sort of like hexagonal shape that says wild hearts run free is actually from one of those large journaling cards. And all I did was just uh, trim it out of there. And then I took the mirror cardstock or the metallic cardstock that comes in the kit and just cut that to slightly larger. And how I did that was just add some removable adhesive to the back of that uh, wild hearts run free shape and put it onto the cardstock, the mirror cardstock, and then just use a paper trimmer to trim very close to the edge. And that way you get a really nice matted look. I put some foam tape right on the back of that shape and I'm going to add that right to my piece of pattern paper. Now I've trimmed this pattern paper down to four by five and a quarter so that it's just smaller than an A2 size card. And then I placed it on my white card base that is included in the kit. This was super easy and it's really beautiful. This pattern paper is really pretty and um, I love the contrast of the leaves against the black background. So now I'm going to use some of these die cut shapes that I was talking about for the first time in this video, but it won't be the last. I also took this frame out of one of the die cut pieces as well, and it was actually the outside of a piece that you would have to remove to use. So I wanted to make sure that I could use every piece and this would be really great to frame this little sloth I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and place the sloth in the frame, but I sort of want to make it look like he's three dimensional and popping out. So I'm going to put that uh, log or that stick or branch that he's on and put it just behind the frame and then make sure that the front of the branch is in front of the frame. So it looks like he's sort of like protruding from the frame. I'm then going to add some leaves and flowers around him. And then for the sentiment, I'm using one of the foiled stickers that came in the kit and it says namaste in bed. I just thought that was really cute and it's perfect for him because it looks like he's not going anywhere today. I really like the colors of this card. I decided to go with a with the pink cardstock that's included in the kit and cut it again down to four by five and a quarter because I thought it really played well with the teal and the blue in the frame as well as the purple of the sloth. So I'm going to move on now and this next card, card number four, is an extremely simple card but I really love it when it all comes together. So I cut this I don't know if this is a cheetah or a leopard. I cut it from, again, one of the uh, journaling cards. And then all of these little sentiment strips were also from a journal card. And what I did was just take a paper trimmer and make sure that I trimmed it down right to the very edge so that it looked like almost maybe like I embossed it on some colored cardstock. So my thought is that I'm just going to place my cheetah. I'm just going to call it a cheetah for... To save time um, and I'm putting that scoring tape that you get in the kit on the back I'm going to adhere that right to the top half and the center of the of my card front now I have taken a piece of white cardstock again and just trimmed it down to four by five and a quarter because I really like to have that matted look and then I'm just going to add some foam tape to the very back of the sentiment strips that I've cut out and add them for a little bit of dimension. At the end, I did add that flower in the cheetah's hair or fur because I just thought it made it a little bit more feminine. And I love that it's super simple, but it really pops off of the page or the cardstock. And um, I think that it actually turned out really, really great. This next card is going to probably be my easiest card that I've created. I loved this pattern paper because it was really bold and graphic, but also simple at the same time. So I again cut this down to four by five and a quarter, and then I cut a very small strip of that mirror cardstock just to ground my sentiment piece a little bit. And I've used the circle 
die cut shape that says beauty begins when you decide to be yourself. Now it's really hard to see here in the picture, but it works really well with that deep green in the background and then plays really well off of that metallic cardstock strip that I've cut. And I like to do this sometimes when I want to keep things simple, but it's almost too simple just to add a sentiment. So it's really nice to add small strips and things like that, that sort of ground an image or a sentiment. This next card, I have decided to cut down one of the large journaling cards and all I really had to do was trim very little bit off the side. So this is actually cut to four by five and a quarter, which is nice to know that you can get that from the large journaling card. I'm using that same because you get two pieces of the same die cuts in the die cut pack. So I have an extra one of those, the same exact sentiment circle that I used for the last one. And I'm just going to put that on a larger die cut piece of that mirror card stock and then attach that with foam tape or adhere it with foam tape right in the center of that circle. And this is probably one of my favorite cards. I just think it looks really cohesive. This next card is really super cute. I love the sloth here and it's, I end up making it a very girly uh, feminine card. I decided to use the seafoam color cardstock that comes in the kit, and this sloth is actually a three-dimensional sticker that comes in the sticker pack in the kit, but I did decide to add some foam tape to the back side of him rather than just adhering him with the sticker part that he is because I wanted to make sure he was the focal point and stood out even when I added these um, leaves and that little sunflower there by his head. I wanted to make sure that he still popped out farther or far enough and the sentiment that comes on the bottom portion of him actually is the three-dimensional part it says always dreaming and then I added chasing or dream dreams are for chasing sorry and I added that um, which is a foil sticker that also comes in the kit and I just matted that on a piece of white cardstock and trimmed around it I'm going again into my bag of die cuts because they are just they're so versatile and really pretty and I love to use them together. And what I've done is taken a piece of the pattern paper that has a whole bunch of these women doing yoga and I've cut out three of them. Now they are really tiny so the focal point is definitely going to have to draw your eye and your attention into them. So to do that I decided I would use this banner that says Little Warrior and it actually works out perfectly for this yoga themed card and I'm just creating this sort of arch that goes over them and I thought that that would be a really great way to draw attention to the, such small characters and to help them stand out even a little more I added some foam tape to the back of them so that they were popped up from the cardstock. This is a really simple card when all is said and done, but I really like it. And I think that it would be great for a friend that you're just trying to empower or just let her know that you're thinking of her, uh, especially if she likes yoga. It's a twofer. My next card is another really simple card that I've gone into my die cut pack for. I'm going to use this sentiment strip that says, I heart lazy days, but I want it to come in from the very edge of the card front. So I've decided to use this piece of pattern paper. It's just really simple, but it has really nice bold lines. And I've just cut a piece of that sentiment strip off so that it can come in from the side without hanging off. And then I've used a couple things that I normally do on lazy days, like going to the farmer's market or shopping or a ticket, maybe to a movie or a boat ride or something like that. And I just thought that that looked really pretty. For my final card, this is actually one of my absolute favorite cards from this set. I was completely inspired from that tiny little sentiment strip, the purple one there. It's hard to read on camera, even when I show you the picture, but it says, you guac my world. And when I saw the avocados, of course, I thought, well, this is perfect. I'll use those together. And then I saw the really pretty pink globe. And I just thought, well, that is absolutely perfect. This was made to go together. So I've set them up and arranged them in a way where you can see all of them, um, but they're all sort of cohesive and work together. And then I've added some foam tape to make sure they pop off the page because again, this is a very, very simple card, but I think that it just adds enough and there's lots of metallic elements in there. And I love the way that that looks. So here are all the 10 cards together. They're really simple to make, really fun, and they look beautiful at the end.
I hope that you've enjoyed the video and gotten some ideas of how you can use the kit. As always, if you go into the description, there are links to all of the products used as well as more information for the Spellbinders Club Kits. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.